the agenda for the previous session is you know we are going to talk about how to configure pentaho to work with hadoop distribution so that's the pretty much agenda for the day so first thing is we'll be using in this session the tool called pentaho pentaho bi suite is an open source business intelligence tool which contains the ekl piece which is called as pentaho data integration also known as kettle and it also has a reporting tool which provides the reporting as well as it also has a dashboard capability it also has the ad hoc capability so our primary area of focus would be today on the etl front that is basically on the data integration front so today we are going to talk about how the pentaho latest version which is the 5.0 okay so we are going to use this tool you can download this tool from the source forge okay so this link will be nothing but you know a zip file you will get so you have to unzip it now once you do the unzip and once you extract you will see something like this okay so let me get into the virtual machine so here is we are and this is pool which is the user interface tool of pentaho and I'll show you how to set it. Okay. This is my terminal. So, so once you download Pentaho, okay, it will be a zip. And once you unzip it, you will find a folder called as data hyphen integration and once you get into it you will see something like this so these are the complete folders present in the data integration folder okay and it has spoon okay so spoon.sh which is nothing but the ui interface which is this okay so once you start this it will open up now in order to configure spoon to work with hadoop distribution you have to follow this you have to go to your folder called as pentaho big data the plugins In the plugins you will see pentaho big data hyphen plugin so this folder and in this folder you will see the file which is called as plugin.properties so you have to configure this plugin.properties so that you can go and work with the Hadoop distribution you have. So by default, Pentaho provides you the support to the following distribution. So here you see one folder which is called as Hadoop distribution, Hadoop configuration basically. This will give you the information what all distribution supports. So by default, it supports CDH42, Hadoop this is Apache 1, LTP, and map, map R. So it supports all these distributions available. Okay. So now we will go to the file called plugin dot properties. Okay. And I'll show you how and where to go and configure it. So we are using the CDH4. So this is the place okay where you have to go and modify it okay so once you are done with cdh42 okay just save it up okay it's already present for me i just came out okay and then you go and start your spoon okay so this is my spoon i close it up So search. So this will open up the spoon. So only one configuration you have to do. That's it. Where you have to go into the big data plugins, plugin those properties folder, and then you have to specify which distribution you are using. Okay. You don't have to do any other settings apart from this. Okay. So let's move ahead. So this is the Pento data integration user interface which is called a spool okay and this tool is used for creating the transformations 
and jobs okay now transformations are basically used for writing the basically it's nothing but it's an orchestration of the what you want from the ETL tool to do a particular kind of activity or the calculation and in Pentaho primarily the transformation means it is used for transformation of data from one form to another form based on your business logic and the main important thing here is everything runs in parallel okay and job is nothing but is a sequencing of attaching different transformation together to perform a logical flow of the activity.